The first milestone of space technology was a successful landing on the moon. At that time the mission was named EVA. On July 16, 1969 at 6.32 p.m. NASA's spacecraft named Apollo Lunar Module Eagle was launched for the journey and landed on July 20, 1969. Due to the spacecraft's name, the mission is also remembered as Apollo 11. The duration of this mission was 8 days, 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 35 seconds. This was the mission in which Commander Neil Armstrong and Lunar Module pilot Buzz Aldrin stepped on the moon. Hi, technology and science lovers. Welcome to Spaceability. Let's get started. Now after 50 years NASA declassified its Project Artemis 3 program. This program will be executed in the year 2024. According to NASA this time they will land the first women and next men on the moon this time with more innovative and powerful technology. NASA will send new science instruments and technology demonstrations to study the moon and accelerate plans to send astronauts to the moon by 2024 and establish sustainable lunar exploration by 2028. Artemis 3 will be accomplished with the rocket named SLS, Space Launch System, Block 1 with a spacecraft named Orion CM003. The planned distance which will be covered in this mission is 7,400 km. The four-person crew of Artemis 2 will include a Canadian Space Agency, CSA, astronaut, the first Canadian to travel beyond low Earth orbit, under the terms of a 2020 treaty between the United States and Canada. There will be four astronauts in this mission one will be Canadian and three will be Americans. The names of the astronauts are not announced yet. Now let's know about SLS, Space Launch System. NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS, is a super heavy lift launch vehicle that provides the foundation for human exploration beyond Earth's orbit. With its unprecedented power and capabilities, SLS is the only rocket that can send Orion, astronauts, and cargo directly to the moon on a single mission. Now, let's know why and how. Is NASA's SLS more powerful than SpaceX Starship? SLS will produce 9.5 million pounds of thrust and carry a payload capacity of 190,000 pounds, 86 tons, up to low Earth orbit, LEO. While on the other hand Elon Musk's Starship will produce 17 million pounds of thrust and will be able to launch 300,000 pounds, 150 tons. How much does DOS SLS cost? This will likely come as a surprise to no one who has closely watched the development of NASA's next giant rocket, the Space Launch System, SLS, but it's going to be expensive to use. Like, expensive, to the tune of $4.1 billion per launch, according to the NASA Inspector General. Is the SLS rocket reusable? The SLS is not a reusable system. The Starship, on the other hand, aims to be SpaceX's first fully reusable rocket, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy had an expendable second stage. This is part of the reason why Starship's flight costs could end out 200 times cheaper per flight. Why is NASA SLS not reusable? SLS uses its power to maximize the cargo the rocket can send to the moon. That's why SLS does not carry extra fuel or propulsion systems necessary to return any stages to Earth for reuse. The solid rocket boosters separate two minutes into the flight, and the core stage falls away around eight minutes after launch. What is the cost of Orion? According to the Planetary Society's Casey Dreyer, NASA has spent $23.7 billion developing the Orion spacecraft. This does not include primary costs for the vehicle's service module, which provides power and propulsion as it is being provided by the European Space Agency. You might have a question in your mind why is SLS orange? The orange color comes from insulation that covers the vehicle's liquid hydrogen and oxygen tanks. This is the same reason that the Space Shuttle's external fuel tank was orange. Is NASA Orion reusable? Orion, officially Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle or Orion MPCV, is a partially reusable crewed spacecraft to be used in NASA's Artemis program. The spacecraft consists of a crew module, CM, space capsule designed by Lockheed Martin and the European Service Module, ESM, manufactured by Airbus Defense and Space. Is Orion part of SLS? The SLS is planned to launch the Orion spacecraft as part of the Artemis program, making use of the ground operations and launch facilities at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Artemis is projected to use at most one SLS each year until at least 2030. SLS will launch from LC-39B at the Kennedy Space Center. Why are space shuttles painted white? The first two space shuttle external tanks were painted white in an effort to protect the insulating foam from ultraviolet light damage. It was later determined that the foam was not damaged by ultraviolet light, 
but merely changed color from a light tan to orange when exposed to sunlight. That's all for today folks. I hope you have learned something new in this video. Stay safe and take care of your surroundings. And suggest the next topic what you want to see next down below in comment box.